Okay, so first of all, I'm going to search for Flourish. And I'm going to click on this website here. Then I'm going to sign in. And I'm going to log in with Google. Then I'll click on New Visualization. And scroll down until we get to the maps. And the map that I want is World with Points. Then I will name this visualization World Map Version 1. Then we'll go to the Data tab. And here we have regions and then regions geometry and points and lines. And points is where I want to put in my own data. So I'm going to select all of these columns and then delete everything in them. Then I'll go to this Excel spreadsheet and I'll select the whole of the table and then control C to copy and go back to flourish and control V to paste. It will tell me how many rows and columns I have and I'll just click paste. And now I need to tell it what is in each column. So I have the names in column A and then the longitude is in column B. The latitude is in column C. And I want the colours to be the different campaigns, and that's column D. And then I want the size to be column E, so I'll type E in here. Then I can go back to the preview, and I can now see my own data being plotted. I'll just make this map slightly bigger. And then we can change the way the map looks using the options down the side. So I'll start by changing the projection and I'll change this to a Miller projection and I'll change the bounds to auto. Then in the regions layer I can change the colour. So I want this to be a brighter green and I'll also change the outlines. At the moment they are white but I'll change them to black. And those are the country borders. I also want to change the points. I don't want them to be this big, so I'll change the maximum radius to six. And I'm also going to change the fill opacity to one, so they won't be transparent anymore. I will give it a custom stroke, and this is the border for the points, the outline. And I want it to be black, so I'll leave it like that, but I will decrease the width a little bit. And I can also change the colour of the points, so I can give it a custom colour if I want. So I will type Geophysica 2009 in here, and then change that to green. And if I click out of this box now, you'll see that those data points change to green. Then I can also change the globe layers. So I can add in latitude and longitude lines, and I'll change the latitude separation to 10 degrees. And I can add in a globe layer, and I'll change the color of this so that it is a light blue. Then I can also change the search box. So I don't actually want this search box up here, so I'll just disable that. And then for the legend, I will put this in the middle and make it slightly bigger. And also, I don't want this legend up here, which is showing me the size of the data points, so I will disable that. Then in the Layout tab, I can change the font. And in the Footer tab, I can remove the footer, which is down here. 
Now that I have my map laid out the way that I want it, I'm going to export and publish, and I will download it as an image. And I will tick the box for two times to make it a crisper image so it's not as blurry. And then I'll download this and save it. And now I have my map as an image. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a world map using Flourish. And that is everything.